What's going on everyone, it's me Jacob. Uh, this video isn't meant to be comedic like all my others, more of just a tutorial on how to get better FPS in Geometry Dash. Despite me having a really good PC, I've just been having a lot of issues ever since I got a 144Hz monitor, although I've finally found a lot of fixes for this, and I will showcase them in this video. Uh, this is my first scripted video, I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in a bit. Now the first thing that we'll go over is optimizing your endgame settings. So full screen. Uh, this option doesn't matter too much, it's mostly just personal preference, although playing in windowed mode does allow you to set a lower resolution, which can increase performance. Texture quality, a high, this is the best looking, although it can cause a few FPS drops. Uh, it's not too noticeable or annoying on medium to high end PCs though. Medium, uh, this can help you if you're looking to get better FPS. It doesn't affect how the game looks too much, and it's definitely good for medium to lower end PCs. And uh, low. Uh, this option's uh, actually really good if you're planning on playing the game blindfolded. Now if we go to advanced, vsync slash vertical sync. Uh, this is going to be a long one, so strap in. Uh, turning this option on will cap your FPS to your monitor's refresh rate, get rid of screen tearing if your monitor doesn't do that already, and the only downside to this is that it can incre increase input lag. Now turning this option off will cap your FPS to 60, although that can be changed with an FPS bypass like so. Cause screen tearing if you don't have a very good monitor, although it will heavily decrease input lag. Now smooth fix. Uh, turning this on can improve performance, although it will increase the chances of making your level go off sync when you lag. Uh, turning it off will heavily decrease your chances of the level going off sync, although could possibly get worse performance. I, I personally don't see a difference in performance with the two, but you can test it out to see which one's better for you. Now if we go out of here, go to help, you'll find that there's a low detail mode uh, option at the bottom. Now turning on low detail mode will reduce a lot of graphical settings like reducing particles and making the background a very low resolution. And that's all I have for this part. Just make sure to set these to whatever suits you and your PC best. I'm going to be using the NVIDIA control panel for this. Your control panel may have some of the same settings though. Go to adjust image settings with preview. Use the advanced 3D image settings. And hit apply. And now you can find the manage 3D settings tab. Alright, so first setting we're going to look at is vertical sync. You can set this to be on or off for all games as well as the fast option which is supposed to be like the off option but without screen tearing. Now personally the fast option didn't work for me on my older monitor but it may for you. Just test it out. Next we have triple buffering. I recommend just turning this off. On power management mode, set this to prefer maximum performance. If you have this setting, preferred refresh rate, set this to highest available. Open GL rendering GPU. Make sure this is set to the GPU you want to uh, render for Geometry Dash. And then we have low latency mode. If you have this setting, just go ahead and turn it off. Uh, throughout my testing, all this did was cause more lag whether I had vSync turned on or off. So just keep it off. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for this. Now, this is something that I struggled with for weeks, but it really helps out if you have more than one monitor with different refresh rates. I have a 144Hz monitor along with a 60Hz monitor that I keep to the side. This would cause a lot of stuttering in all of my games though. So since I have both a 144Hz and 60Hz monitor, these two numbers are not multiples of themselves. You can't put 60 into 144 and you know. Basically this causes your GPU to just create a lot of stuttering. So to fix this, I had to either set my 144Hz monitor to 120Hz, or I could overclock my 60Hz monitor to 72Hz, uh, which is a uh, half of 144 obviously. For those of you who don't know how to overclock your monitor, here's how you can do it using the NVIDIA control panel. For other people, you can find a tutorial online. So you're going to go to change resolution, find the monitor you want to overclock, click customize, create custom resolution. And then you can find the refresh rate and set it to whatever you need to set it to. Now, just be aware, um, overclocking it too high can damage your monitor, but like you will know uh, if your monitor can't handle it. Firstly, I'd like to thank RelayX for um, showing off this patch. I wouldn't have found it without him, and it was the only reason I was able to make my Discord ping layout video. Just a fair warning, this requires at least 4GB of RAM to even make a difference in your game, and very likely a 64-bit OS. To check if you have this, just go to File Explorer, this PC, right click it, 
go to properties and you'll see if you have a 64-bit operating system and a time 64 based auto processor now to get this patch just go to the link in the description you'll get, go to this website and just click on download the 4 gigabyte patch now make sure you have your geometry dash closed go ahead open it find your geometry dash.exe open it up and it'll say executable successfully patched I'd like to show you guys something I made which just completely removes particles from your game. So if we go here. So instead of making the particle image just invisible, uh, this goes into the game files and actually sets all the particle values to zero to increase performance as much as possible. So to install this, you want to go to File Explorer, find your local disk C, or local disk, whatever your local disk is. Program files times 86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Geometry Dash, Resources. And you're just going to take all the files. Go ahead and drag them in there. Replace them. And your game will no longer have particles. To be honest, I just really like how the game looks without particles. But this can also be really useful to you if you just need better performance. And as you can see, there's just no particles anywhere. By the way, uh, for creators, these two things still work uh, for proof. As you can see, uh, those still work. So if you are a creator and you want to get rid of particles but still keep these, uh, there you go. The download for this can be found in the description. If you're still getting stutterings or FPS drops in GD, setting your game's priority to high can very much help. Now obviously, it's not very fun though when you have to go into Task Manager every time you open your game and change the priority. Uh, so I made this uh, GD launcher that automatically sets the game's priority to high for you after launching the game. So if we just go ahead and uh, do that, launch dash high priority launcher. Now once it's done doing that, we can go to Task Manager, Details, find our geometry dash set priority and as you can see it's already set to high all right so uh, this is no fix I found until after I started editing my video but what you're gonna want to do you're gonna go to Windows R or you're gonna hold down Windows R then go to services.msc and then what you're gonna want to do you just scroll down until you find sysman go ahead and click on properties make sure you stop it and then set the startup type to disabled. What this does is uh, basically sysmain is a terrible thing to put on your fucking PC that really just like takes up a lot of your CPU, uh, a lot of your disk, and all that stuff. So disabling it just clears up a lot of it for Geometry Dash to use. I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comments and I'll try my best to help you. Probably won't get to every comment, but I do read pretty much most of my comments. Uh, thank you guys for watching and peace. I think something must have caused me and swallowed